Hi, my name is Danny Cottenham. I am uh, currently working the best job I've ever had. I'm retired. Uh, after having worked at the university for 35 years, I retired in 2012. Um, they still pay me. Man, I can't believe that. <laughs> but I have known Gerald. Uh, I've known Gerald since he first became a student at the university. I was a student at USL. I think I was a senior maybe when he was a freshman. And right after I graduated, I began working there. I started off working in student personnel. So Gerald was always on campus. I, I learned early on that he was a local kid, that he was a Northside product. Uh, you're always happy to have local kids stay at your university and do well. And, and so uh, he was just, uh, he was always um, in, from the time I first met him in leadership roles, he was doing things. He wasn't just a student. He was involved on campus. Uh, Gerald is, is not a relative. He's a dear, dear friend. Um, he, he, is, he is the kind of friend, uh, and this is something that my daughter and I talked about. He, he is the, the person, the, the one person that if something were to happen to me, that my daughter would look to as uh, not that he would replace me per se, but as the person that she could lean on as a dad, as a father. Um, she's grown up with his daughters and, and to be embraced in that way to where she uh, feels that way about both Gerald and Carlos, that means a lot to me as a, as a parent, as a dad, to know that there's a, another person uh, in the, on this earth that's nearby uh, that um, if in the event something happened to me and my daughter needs that fatherly support that she can get it and she she's already identified it and I know that he would uh, be there for her and so that's uh, that's something very special for me to know and that gives me just a, a whole lot of um, um, just confidence and just a good feeling of security in knowing that uh, that 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 this is the kind of man that Gerald is and that uh, we feel so strongly about him in that way. Yeah. I think that when you look at his involvement throughout the community, whether it's the, 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 the number of jobs and the things that he's done with his church, Immaculate Heart of Mary, or whether the hospital boards or some of the other civic-minded civic things he's doing, what he's done with the Martin Luther King Day um, uh, celebration. It, it, again, it just it shows um, just how multi-talented he is and how good he is at, and effective he is at what he's doing for so many cross areas. I mean, uh, these areas cross different, um, uh, they're not the same. They're, 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 they're similar in that, that they need good leadership, but they're all different in terms of what their mission and their goal is. And the fact that they've all reached out to someone like Gerald just, again, shows uh, how good he is at what he does and how effective he is as a leader in getting things done um, and being able to make things work. And I, I think that's what's so outstanding, uh, mostly about him. Well, I, I support him um, for a number of reasons. Gerald and I, have, you know, and especially in the last year, we got a chance to talk uh, more politics. We've talked a little bit politics throughout, but obviously as his focus has changed somewhat and become more specific, I've learned a lot from him. I've learned a lot from him, and he's kind of broken some things down, talked about uh, state government, maybe in a way that I hadn't looked at it before. And the thing is, is that I, I like his views. I, I like what he stands for. And I like that he wants to make a difference. I also think that Gerald is, is going to be the kind of politician that's just like he's done at everything else. He's going to be effective. And what I mean by that is that, you know, he's going to go to Baton Rouge to get things done. When you do that, you don't always get things exactly your way. But, you're, but you get things done. And I, I, I think that he'll be the kind of politician that will be able to have conversations with people who don't necessarily agree with him, and there will be some compromise to where 
we're not finding ourselves so left out or so locked out on certain issues uh, like like we've seen in the past where you know you you, you have it your way or no way and I, I don't I don't know if that's good leadership so I, I believe that Gerald has the ability the capacity uh, to get people to buy into what he wants to do and if there are those disagreements I believe that he can forge he'll be one of those um, uh, great leaders who will be able to reach across the aisles to, to those who are on the opposing side and let's work out something. Let's work out something uh, uh, for the people of Louisiana. Let's, let's make this state the best state it can be for our children if nothing else.